James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today I have a little, uh, just a little show of how to install the, uh, the CarLock app for the CarLock Connect Drive software. This is all connected to your computer or your to your phone. So if you connect it to your phone, there's a little app. You go to your Google Play, or you can go to your iTunes Store, and you look for the CarLock. Um, app by Protectus Technologies Incorporated. Click install. As you can see, just accept it. And now we're installing. If you guys can see, it's installing pretty quick. So it's not really a big issue. We're already installed. We're opened. Now we're opening it. It says, Welcome to the CarLock. Monitor your vehicle on your smartphone from anywhere in the world. You know, you can skip it. it says says, um, car lock device. Car lock device will require a car lock or will not work. So we'll just finish. As you can see up here, it says tap into login. I'm going to actually pause and log in so you guys don't see my information. So if you give me one second. Okay, now that we're logged in, you can see it says go for a drive to get a valid GPS location. As of right now, it shows us in London, which isn't a big deal. Let's click this piece right here. This will give us a driving score. It gives us the date, distance, mileage, running, duration of time, you know, some other stuff, your logs, um, schedules, settings, and profiles. We'll go to like settings so you guys can see the settings. You know, call disabled SMS. We get five free SMSs, so I guess you got to pay for them. Um, vibration is enabled, signal loss disabled. You know, auto lock, so you can auto lock your car, I believe. Harsh driving is enabled. We're going to actually turn off harsh driving. That way, you know, we won't get enabled, but we'll actually put it on. What the heck? Why not see what how bad I drive, right? We'll go arrow back. You know, speed limit, settings, smart car lock beta. That that's disabled um, units of measurements and, and stuff like that. I won't go into the actual. We'll do a little schedule so you can see the schedules. I'm pretty sure it's you know so you can lock your car or whatever. We'll just hit the schedule for the 1 p.m. or something. And so it says lock it too. We're gonna undo this. I mean we really don't need all this stuff messed with right now. But that's pretty much it. So that's the software. Now, I'm going to actually hook this up in the car. I will probably take some pictures of it. I probably won't actually do a little video of it. Or I might even, you know, connect up, do the little video, show you where it installs in the car in this video. That way you guys can see it. I'm going to actually take a few minutes, and then when I do this, I will actually go out and um, drive it around a little more. And then I'll come back and show you guys what it shows when you're driving and how much, you know, the average of your speed and all that stuff in this video. So, you know, most likely I will take some pictures of this installed in the device outside. And I'll put it up in the corner of the video so you guys can see where it goes and how, what it looks like. Now, I know this is going to stick out, so it's going to be in my way, so I won't be able to close the dash. So, when you guys see this up in the corner, you'll see what I'm talking about. But some other cars will be under the under the steering wheel, so you won't have that issue. Now, with this software, you can watch it online, so you don't even have to do it through your phone. You can do it on your computer, so you get that too. So uh, if you guys give me a little while, I'll be back and uh, finish this video off for you. Okay, now that I have it up, you guys can see it. I have the map on my computer, the mycarlock.com. You can do it on your phone. It will push notifications. You can also do SMSs. It's pretty much the same as a computer, but this is much easier for you guys can see. As you can see, out of 100, I got a 98 score from my little 15-minute drive. I went 5.6 miles, as you guys can see over here in the corner. Show driving trends, you know, it says, you know, harsh braking, zero, harsh acceleration, you know, harsh cornering. I did that to test this. I don't normally drive that way, but I had to test it so you guys can see it. If you go over here... Pretty much, you know, it shows you where you started, where you went, the trip. If you click it, it will show it on the map. 
And if you guys look, that's all I drove, the blue lines circled around. And then I made it around here, and this is where it says harsh corner, which is pretty cool. It shows you where you did the harsh cornering acceleration. Over here was the, the braking, and it shows you where you drove, where the car's parked, and stuff like that. And then as you go over here to notification history, it says harsh cornering, harsh acceleration detected, device connected, device disconnected, you know, shows you how it went and how it did go. The device connected and disconnected, I'm not sure exactly why it's only three minutes apart, but then the trip was longer. But it is what it is over here, you know, you can do your time zones, you can change it. The maximum speed limit you want set before you get a speedy notification is set at 81. Now that was preset that way. I didn't set it. Most driving in my area is set around 60, 65 or less. So that's what we're going to set that for now. Smart car lock determines whether following car lock features are enabled. You know, stuff like that. Push notification settings, you know, you can set it up, silent notifications. SMS, you know, it's 100 notifications is $26 a month. I won't be using that, I'm not really that worried about the SMSs, but you have the option, which is pretty cool. You know, you can buy additionals, but, you know, vehicle moved, it'll tell you if your vehicle moved and all that. Call notifications, you'll have to set up a phone number. I don't have mine set up to this. You know, stuff like that. Over here, it's just back to the normal stuff. The 98 score out of 100 for the January. You can go back to December or forward. And it goes back once. Even though I, I've only had this thing today, it goes back. But that's pretty much the software. As you can see, you can go around the map. It's probably the whole United States. It might have a better map than Google Maps right now. It might be more up to date. I don't know. But that is pretty much how the my car lock software works. Um, and uh, thank you for checking that out. And uh, keep your eyes out for more tests and more written review on DragonBlogger.com. Thank you.